my, my brain. You saved my mind anywhere. I'm sure I left it somewhere. No, no, it's gone. I lost it. Like, um, I don't know how to really explain it, but you get the picture, I guess. I've been really relaxed a lot this season and kind of like doing loads less and uh, I took London off and went on tour, joined the boys on tour in Scotland, cool. we had gigs and um, took the, the baby shambles. Yes, the baby shambles. Why, oh why, the way of an explanation cast, a drift of the shores of Shotty's nation. I had a lady came on scaling like a brick. Amazing crowd ever in Scotland. They are absolutely fantastic. They're great. They're such good fun, a good laugh, and um, and it was the perfect thing for me to kind of get out of the fashion. You know, as I say, I feel like the past two years and a half years, my life has been kind of non-stop about work, work, and you get in this fashion bubble. You know, and sometimes it's kind of good to step away and go back to the real world. Places uh, and we're gonna wait. We're uh, we're working on the album right now, you know, uh, because Patty's working with us. Betty Smith was working with us, and she's changing quite loads. And I mean, I literally, she can shave my head off if she wants. She can do anything she wants. I'm like, I don't care what it is. We're just so excited to have her on board. I really have loads of respect for Christopher because he took the house of Burberry, kept the tradition of it and idea, and took and became made it into Burberry 2008, which is cool and rock, and edgy. But it's something everybody keeps looking back in fashion. I think he's one of the rare ones that's looking forward. Some of them are really kind of ballads and love songs, and some of them are a bit more angry, depending on what, how I feel in the morning, you know. in Scotland and then we took the sleeper train with Peter and I actually had a chase played cops and robbers in the train it was quite funny did a whole like James Bond slash Bonnie and Clyde moment it was fun I've been having just being just happy and calm and enjoying life which is very weird for me because usually I'm very dramatic and crazy and always there's something happening you know but you know, it's a good it's a good moment I'm, in my life so I hope I I hope it keeps going.
thing is, it's for me right now, I have the opportunity to use one and the other. And, and it's true. People are like, oh, she's using the fact that, you know, she does press for a Molly to promote her music. And I'm sorry, I think it would be stupid if I won't. Because in a way, this is what I do, but that's, you know, something else. So when people are asking me about that my music is, is more, a bit more than a hobby now, because it's also another job. It's something that I love doing, and it's a hobby. But, you know, it's something that I'm, I'm proud of because it's something that I do. Me because you look so fine that I really want to make you mine. I say you look so fine that I really want to make you mine. Four, five, six, come on and get your kicks. Now you don't need the money when you look like that, do you, honey? Well, Lana is, I think, is, is for me, is a little bit about, you know, doing some of the probably bigger shows and, and uh, doing a bit less shows and really getting ready for Paris because Paris is really insane, usually. And I do go out quite a bit in Paris, so I'm resting now. I said, are you going to be my girl? Listen, I'm telling you, it's a new thing for me. I sleep. It's amazing. That's what the, I mean, all this time, like, I thought people kept talking about this thing called sleep, and I, it's amazing. I say you look so fine that I really want to make you mine. A four, five, six, come on and get your kicks. Now you don't need money with a face like that, do you? Big black boots, long. Okay, can you guys just, yes, I am at La Perla. Did hell freeze over yet? You me. I'm work, I'm working. It's, 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 a, it's sexy and voluptuous and the new me. I said, are you gonna be my girl? You know, like I say, when I walk out there, I'm presenting somebody else's work, which I'm very proud of doing. But when I'm on stage, that's, that's me, you know? If whoever wants to hear it, you know, I'm very happy to share it with them. In the beginning of some songs, hearing like people talking, you know, you, you hear me going Grand Control to Major Tom, Grand Control to Major Tom, and, and then you, you hear Tom, yeah, Sean coming in and us having this big discussion about penguins again. You know, he is pretending to be Larry King and I'm at Christian Amalpour, and here we go, CNN again. But it's quite funny to have like those couple of seconds at the end because it gives it kind of this raw old, like almost 60s, 70s albums. I do less and I really enjoy myself now. I'm like so much more calm. I feel great seeing my friends, the people I work with, drinking wine, champagne, and eating loads of food, and uh, having a laugh with Lily and Freya and seeing my girls, and because we're so fortunate. Lily, what do you think about the pigeons now? What I think they should, I don't know, fly. fly. There we have it from uh, Lily Donaldson live uh, backstage at Carl Lagerfeld. Pigeons should fly. Thank you, Raquel. Raquel, one question, please. What do you think about the pigeons now? What do you What do you think they should do? You know, I'm not informed about the pigeons. I just got here. I'm, you know, I have. Lily thought they should fly. I do you agree with that statement? 
Well, maybe they should try to, the pigeons, I, maybe they should try to like clean themselves a little bit more. You know, they live in the they, city, they live in the street, you know. They're, they're like, dirty. They're dirty, maybe, you know. They're dirty. Should help them. Should help them get clean. Wash, yeah, we should clean. The wash the pigeons, wash the pigeons. And um, right here, we have the stylist of the show and and the, 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 the head hair, Odile Gilbert and Christopher Niquet. Odile, how is it working with Karl Lagerfeld? Heaven. And what about you, Christopher? Uh, Christopher also joined the U.S. Navy this morning. He is, <laughs> he is due to ship for Iraq. This is live backstage at Karl Lagerfeld. I hope you enjoy the show. See you next time. Send back place, send by channel. Dandelion, don't tell no lies. Dandelion will make you wise. Tell me if she laughs or cries. Blow away, Dandelion. One o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock, four o'clock, five. I hate to say this, I think I grew up. Why? Tell me if she laughs or cries. No way, Dandelion. No way, Dandelion. Though you're older now, it's just the same. You can play the Dandelion game. When you're finished with your childlike friends, where you know. We're so lucky to do what we do. We're so blessed. Spoiled brats, that's what we are. <laughs> rotten, spoiled, rotten, I tell you. Yeah, and on that note, it. it's first looks, they're looking for me. And... I'm like, I'm Irina! I'm like, what, what, me again? You must think that I'm weird. you think that I like, like you're the one to say. She makes women beautiful, because she's a woman. She understands that also. She's classy, she's gorgeous. Sexy, too, but with an edge. I have something with feathers. I always end up wearing feathers, especially with John. It was a great show, it was fun. It was very Mrs. Robinson. And here's to you, Mrs. Robinson. Jesus loves you more than you will know. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Couldn't see anything out there, it was great. Just went instinctively. I went to John, I can't see anything. He's just like, just go by instinct. <laughs> Why couldn't you see anything? Well, I had glue in my eye. <laughs> Small problem, the fake lashes. But you know, it was interesting. Double, I went double fake lashes. Double, yeah. It looked like three podiums. I didn't know which one to choose. Look around you all, you see our sympathetic eyes. Stroll around the grounds until you feel at home. And here's to you, Mrs. Robinson.
person. During this month, you feel like you're bipolar. You go from, hi, yeah, to crying and hating the world, want to jump out the window back to, it's, it's, it's really weird. It's been a bit of a weird month. Je me promène en blue jean C'est la mode, c'est la vie C'est la mode, je la suis Oh love, won't you buy me a Mercedes Benz My friends will drop oceans Won't make amends And prove that you love me I can't do this when she... <laughs> and by the other. next round Whoa, oh, Lord, won't you buy, buy me a Mercedes Benz? Oh, Lord, won't you buy me a color TV? Dialing four dollars is trying to find me I wait for delivery each day until three So, oh, Lord, won't you buy me a color TV. I know it's working. I know it's a business. I know it's a multi multi million dollar. But it's also supposed to be fun. We're making clothes. Woo! You know, I mean, they're making clothes. I'm just walking. All I can say today is, uh, yeah, I feel like a body of stone. You should have seen me this morning. It was about 6:30. Oh, I'm telling you, the girls are getting. Woo. I have Sally with me, and she just like literally like turns me over my back and like go up. Next thing I know, I just grab something, and I still have like the patches under the eyes, and like puts this cup of coffee and I have a cigarette, and I kind of somehow make it to the car. The next thing I know, I'm open my eyes, I'm sitting in makeup, so there's pieces of it missing. But there's just no other way. I mean, you go out three, four hours of sleep. I mean, mama's not 16 anymore. <laughs> you know, there's a bunch of 12 year olds, like, you know, wee, wee in the morning, and I'm like,
introduced. She is a fantastic girl. She is crazy and brilliant and smart and lovable and, and lovely, but um, she works hard, really, really hard. Right, let's go, let's go, let's go. Hi, Bailo. Like girl, like Always should be someone you Tivi tatka.